Hi guys, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you are new, my name is Arina and if you are coming back, I hope you all are doing well. So today's video, we are going to do a first impression and try on and probably a wear test as well for the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. I got mine in the shade Medium ATW. I'm just going to read the details on the box. Ideal for all skin types. Hyaluronic acid aka HA known to hydrate and support healthy looking skin coconut water known to support hydration and skin softness a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural healthy looking skin dermatologist tested oil free and vegan so what I noticed that uh, the claims are similar to the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I have a review on that I will link it up here for you guys to see so if you're interested to know how this works on top of my black skin please keep on watching so please ignore my very obvious and large pimple over here the other day or like last week I have it here and it's already shrunk down in size and on its way to heal and then suddenly I have large pimple over here and we will test out this foundation on the ability to cover this so as far as my skin goes I already applied my moisturizer and also my sunscreen so today I'm going to use the orange skin delete from Bona Medusa I have a review on this product on my Instagram so you can check on there so this is like a silicone type primer but it claims to have a skincare properties as well uh, focusing it on the center but I find that even if I use it on the other areas of my face it does help to make the foundation that I'm going to lay down apply smoothly on top of my skin so I'm gonna do that today as well so on this side I'm, I'm gonna apply with the foundation using a brush this is a buffing brush from Morphe M439 and then on the other side, I'm going to apply it with a sponge. This is Blending Pearl from Brina Beauty. Naturally, a sponge will soak up the foundation so I will have lesser coverage. And the brush, a dense brush, will buff it onto the skin and will have less soaking of the foundation. And also, the, the sponge is damp so naturally it will add moisture to the foundation as well. This is what the foundation looks like. It's a plastic packaging with a pump and it's just a simple label at the front. And and it doesn't have the ingredients at the back so you will have to refer it at the box or just look it up online to know what's the ingredient in the foundation if you are sensitive to any of it first I'm going to take about one pump and then apply it on the brush side maybe just half a pump so the foundation is I would say it's quite liquidy because it is a hydrating foundation so that is normal to hydrating foundation okay half a pump kind of goes a long way so I feel like the color medium 80 matches just my skin tone pretty well so this side using a brush Okay, this is this side even though it sees a medium to buildable coverage but I appreciate that it camouflages my blemish here it tones down the redness so I really love the color match I just hope it will not oxidize because after I apply bronzer blusher and powder hopefully it will blend nicely with my skin tone and then on this side like I said I'm gonna use a sponge same thing I'll take around half a pump first and see if I need to add more so you can see even half a pump spreading this foundation with the finger it just goes a long way okay half a pump covers only my uh, cheek area here so I need some more for my forehead Okay, this is what this side looks with the sponge. I feel like it doesn't want to stick onto my nose crease here compared to the brush. It can get into the, the creases. So I'm gonna do now is just press it in with the brush. As you can see, it's already sticking onto the crease there. After I apply it with the sponge, I find that on my blemish here, I do have like dry skin there. It kind of clunks into the dry skin, but for me, any foundation will tend to do that for concealer i'm using the revlon color stay concealer this one is in the shade light medium all by the way all the makeup products i use today are in my like next 
makeup rotation. If you don't know, I do kind of shop my stash style, pick any product from my collection and use it for like two to three weeks so that I can use them more and not just use the same thing every time. So for this week and next week, this is the concealer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a sponge to blend this. Also highlighting the center of my face using the same concealer. My lips will kind of dry so I'm going to quickly apply lip balm before I move on. I did apply a little bit of concealer on top of this blemish here and it kind of helps to hide it some more. And to set my entire face, I'm using Catrice Fixing Glow Illusion Loose Powder Translucent. This is also part of my makeup rotation. This powder has a little bit of tint. And I'm using a brush to set my entire face. Initially, after I applied the foundation, it doesn't feel too sticky or too wet on the skin. I think dry skin people can get away without powdering the foundation because I don't feel like it is too sticky. I have a dewier finish foundation like, like the Maybelline Dewy foundation really need to set the foundation. So I'm going to bronze my face now. Actually, I'm going to use a different bronzer. This is part of my makeup rotation. It's new to me. I haven't used it so I don't want to ruin this foundation review. So I'm going to use the bronzer that I know works on top of any foundation I used which is the Balm Take Home The Bronze and this one is in the shade Thomas. My face is bronze. The bronzer sits and blends nicely on top of the foundation. So that's that's great. Please ignore my bloodshot eyes here, I think, because the eyeliner I use today is kind of like get into my eyes. So hopefully it will be gone at the end of this video. <laughs> For blusher, so, I'm using this one from NYX. Ombre blush in the shade Mauve Me. So yeah, that's the blusher. It also sits and blends well on top of the foundation which is nice. I really have no issue with the powders I used so far. And lastly of course the highlighter. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills. Also part of my makeup rotation. And I'm gonna go for this summer shade. And if it's too light, I'm gonna mix it with the shade Moonstone. And finally, I'm gonna set the face using Catrice Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. I can't wait to finish this up. I use it almost daily and it's still going strong. And then what's left is for me to finish off this eye makeup, apply mascara and also apply lip product. And I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. This is my makeup right now. I use the Maybelline Maybelline Sensational Lipstick in the shade more for me. And everything else I use, I will list in the description box below. So I will try to wear it as long as possible. Right now, it's actually 2.17pm. I start off late because I have a lot of things to do in the morning. Try to wear it until night time inshallah. And I will update you guys how it wears on top of my skin. Obviously, I'm not going to go out because I have nowhere to go. But just going to do some um, housework and I'll update you guys how it lasts on top of my skin. And yeah, see you guys in next few hours. Hi guys, I just want to do a quick check-in. So now is 4.31pm. The last time I see you guys was at 2.17pm. So it's almost 2 hours and this is how my skin looks like. I don't see any oiliness peeking through yet. Obviously, I just stayed home. I don't go out. I don't wear mask. I'm not sure if it's transfer proof or not but on, on the long wariness so far, everything is okay. Uh, my blusher, bronzer, highlighter stays 
put, I don't see any products uh, moving around or something like that. Everything looks just like freshly applied, which is nice. I'm gonna check again with you guys in a few hours. I already baked brownies and make some food for my kids. I'm gonna do some, some more mom stuff and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the final check-in and it's now 7.14 p.m. So I wore this foundation for around 5 hours now. I'm sorry for the noise outside. The kids are very excited and playing Avengers. By the way, I did use natural lighting earlier and now it's already night time. There's no more sunlight. I have to switch on my LED lights. So what you see right now is me in front of LED lights. So as you can see now, my oils are already peeking through and already blends and mixed with the foundation but as for the blusher bronzer I had the it's still there it doesn't move it's still um, intact with the foundation you can already see my oil on this area here where I have large pores and on the nose it still is oily but I feel like it can be oilier than this I have some other foundations that makes my, my nose uh, looks on here on the other parts like the chin the forehead and the jawline area everything uh, looks fine there's a tiny bit of foundation that sticks off on the blem blemish area here so far so good i'm really impressed with the foundation i think this foundation works on both dry or oilier skin type i have combination skin dry outer parameters and oily on my t-zone i still can work with this foundation if you have oilier skin type i suggest you guys to put on to lay down a matte primer and then set this foundation and if you have drier skin type with dry patches you can get away without setting this foundation yeah it doesn't separate even though this is a hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid in it it doesn't feel too emollient or too hydrating or dewy like the maybelline dewy and smooth that one you really need to set it if you have dry or oilier skin type in my opinion but this foundation for dry skin people you can get away without setting it and your bronzer your powder and the powder products on top help to set on certain areas of your face also setting spray will help it to stick onto your skin as well and for me this foundation is buildable but i think for me the maximum is uh, two layers if i build it too much it will look cakey especially on the drier areas for me this foundation has a demi matte finish and it is not in the group of dewy foundation and I think that's it for today's video. If you love or enjoy my foundation review, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I do a lot of makeup review, makeup tutorials, makeup hauls. Take care and I hope I see you guys in my next one. Bye. Assalamualaikum.